what is going on YouTube, my name is Concept, and that intro was super fast, so let's get into this gameplay. What you guys are watching is actually one of my most insane gameplays to date, and it is actually a 60 gun streak with the SVU sniper rifle. And you guys really don't see this gun that much just because of the same, or just because of the one reason that this gun is a sniper rifle and not that many people use it. Uh, to have a diamond is one thing, but to, like use it a lot is another thing, and I personally do not use this gun a lot. Uh, just because it's not that good of a gun and I don't enjoy it that much, but I popped it on for this game just because this lobby was actually super good And also this gameplay is in kill confirmed and you really don't use see kill confirmed that much Especially on black ops 2 most of the time you see multi-team hardpoint and not multi-team kill confirmed But like I said this lobby is super good So I had to play this and I got this gameplay which is super awesome So I do have a conference topic after I talk about what I use on this gun so I use fast mag and ACOG and some people may say ACOG as kind of a newbie attachment but if you want to stay and get on those nuclears, I really recommend you use ACOG. It really helps and it really keeps you guys on a streak. If you guys are going for like nuclears or high streaks or anything like that, you really want to run the ACOG just because it'll help you stay in those situations that you're close range. And with a sniper, like with a full scope on the SVU, uh, it really does not help you stay alive, especially in your close range situations and stuff. But. I do want to say that the fast mag is definitely necessary. I say this in most of my videos that I use. I use sleight of hand and fast mag in almost all of my classes just for the one reason that I don't like to die when I'm reloading. And I know this is kind of a pet peeve for most people, but I actually reload a lot. I reload almost after every single kill, and that just would get really annoying if I didn't run uh, the fast mag or the sleight of hand. And also, I use the. Oh, what is, what's it called? I actually used FMJ on this gun when I was going for gold, just because if I wanted to play core, which I didn't actually get most of my one shots for this gun in core, I used I played hard for most of them. But if I wanted to play core, I like to run the FMJ just because if you gotta go for those headshots, you want to be able to get a one shot no matter how far they are away. And with the FMJ, it really helped, especially if they're like behind a, something, behind a fence or something like that. You can still get the headshot one shot. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the gun. So what I want to talk about is what is fun to me like nowadays. What games are fun to play? What Call of Duty is fun to play in general? Actually, let's what the main main games that I'm gonna be talking about. So you guys may find this to a surprise, or you guys might actually not, because of what I'm posting the most. And that is actually one of my favorite Call of Duties actually ever made. Is actually I know actually 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 God I'm saying that so much, but the game that I love the most right now is Call of Duty Ghost. I almost said actually again. So Call of Duty Ghost is fun to me because for the main reason that it's fast paced. I like fast paced games. Uh, it actually reminds me a lot of MW3. Uh, some people might disagree with that but it does pretty much feel like MW3 to me and it's actually coming to be one of my favorite Call of Duties ever made and I know a lot of people are going to find that surprising but that is actually probably the funnest Call of Duty that they've made uh, in a while. I didn't really enjoy Black Ops 2 that much during its prime, but it is kind of fun to come back to. And also, I guess I'll talk about Black Ops 2. Coming back to this game, uh, it's it's kind of annoying to be honest. Playing multi-team is super annoying. Multi-team is completely ruined since Call of Duty Ghost came out. Uh, all it is is tryhards and antis. And if you guys don't know what an anti is, I'm not going to talk about in that video in this video. But and antis are just so annoying. I cannot play multi-team without getting in a game with them. I don't care if people play on their main accounts. Like, I'll if I get in a game with a tryhard on their main account and a multi, I actually usually play them just because I like to play tryhards. But if I'm not in the mood to play tryhards, I probably will leave. But Antis, on the other hand, I honestly hate. If, you, if you're too scared to play on your main account, I can understand if you're going for YouTube videos or something, but these random people that play on their anti account, anti accounts are so annoying and they pretty much ruin multi. And that's pretty much that. That's a complete rant for a different video, too. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This gameplay is actually coming to an end. I died the stupidest way, and you guys will see that. Uh, I died to somebody, somebody that got way too lucky. But that's where we're going to end this commentary. I hope you guys can get like at least 20 likes in this video. I know this is insane gameplay, so I hope that we can hit 20 likes because I usually hit 20 likes on my really good gameplays. I mean, look at my other one. I also want to say thanks to the 20 plus likes I got on my last video with 100 views, which is pretty sick. You guys really supported that video a lot. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This gameplay is coming to an end. Let's go for 20 likes, like I said. So if you guys have enjoyed, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Concept. I'm out.